Good afternoon. We are joined by Austin Kinnear, a product of Akalanas High School, the six foot five freshman. Austin, thank you for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. A couple questions for you. Um, team is off to a great start. Uh, Ten and three. Uh, just had another amazing, like another battle against Santiago Canyon College, which seems to be you guys are starting uh, kind of a, a, a rivalry against these guys. We'll talk about that a little bit later on. But uh, hey, g- give me a little insight on the season so far. Uh, you know, as mentioned the, the other night, the, the team earned its 10th victory. Um, the first time since 2015 that the program has double digit wins. Um, what do you think is making this year uh, a big success so far? Well, we're very happy with our current record at 10 and 3. I think a large part of our success is the talent we have. We also have a great coaching staff. We take every weights, every theory, and every volleyball practice we have very seriously and bring a lot of intensity while doing each of those with great uh, setup. Mm-hmm. Um, with great setup practices by our coaches. Mm-hmm. Every practice we're directed looking at things that we are doing well and things that we could improve on. And we hit those very hard so that we can continue to improve our game. Sure. And, and the, the coaching staff has done a, a great job putting the pieces together. I know earlier in the season, yep. uh, Coach Profit was kind of experimenting and putting different lineups together. Um, how impressive has the coaching being staffed, especially from you, you know, as, as, as a first year player? Uh, tell me about the coaching staff and how uh, how they've been this year. Yeah, the coaching staff has been great. I think each of the three coaches we have bring different great aspects to mm-hmm. our leadership on the uh, off the court. It's been interesting. I've played volleyball for eight years, so I've had uh, many different coaches. And I really appreciate Dave cares about each and every one of his players um, on more than just a coaching level, where he'll make sure that we're doing all right in school and in life. And this, uh, this factor of Dave's coaching makes our team feel a lot more like a family. Mm-hmm. So we care about each other on and off the court. And I think you can see that in our play. Sure. In the Santiago Canyon game that you saw, we started off kind of slow. We lost the first two sets, but we weren't playing uh, together as well as we could. Mm-hmm. And I think in those last three, you really saw us come together. And we won all three and we came out with a great victory to keep a, to continue our terrific record. Yeah, you know, let me ask you a little bit more about that Sunday College Canyon uh, matches. I mean, as mentioned, it's been it's been a a, a dogfight every single time you played them. Um, you know, uh, when we played them early February, I believe that was uh, at San Diego Canyon College, another split, uh, three two, and then played them um, not too long after that at Grossmont again, three to two, and then again just uh, this past Wednesday, another three to two battle, right? What was uh, what was the mindset going to that final set um, this Wednesday? Uh, what what did the coaching staff tell you, and and what was the uh, theme overall? That hey, you know, we we just we were down to zero, zero two. We came back. Let's not let this thing slip away. What were you guys talking about in the huddle? Going into the final set, it was my my personal expectation that we were going to win. Hmm. I always uh, feel that we have the talent and mental capabilities to win every single game that we play. Mm-hmm. Our coaching staff knew that we are, we are running on some great motivation. We won two straight sets to get to that fifth set. Yeah. So we had the upper hand at that point. It was the priority to not underestimate them and to continue playing at our high level because it's easy to go off two wins and then kind of relax a little bit. Mm -hmm. But it's so important to keep that intensity so we can finish it out and put teams away quicker. Uh, We are once again joined by Austin Kinnear, freshman from Lafayette, California, a product of Akalanas High School, uh, six foot five freshman. And uh, again, it's amazing to see the transformation of this men's program uh, compared to when Dave um, took over the took over the helm a couple of years ago. And I remember vividly. David sitting in 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 the quad, looking for anyone with height, and and walking up to them. Hey, can you play? And, and looking at the roster now, I mean, you know, you have a uh, six six in Victor Acosta, you have six four in Santiago, you have six six in in, in Ricardo Laura, 
you know, yourself at 6'5", Nick Adams at 6'4", uh, Akadin Chad at 6'1", you know, it, it, Roman Morena at 6'5", you know, so it's, yeah. it, it's a team that's that's ready to go. Uh, and and it's showing how you're playing. We can't forget Ori Hernandez, who I believe stands at what six six five, three, I think six well. five six four. Yeah, right? is. Or I believe he's at six four. Um, you know, it, it's amazing to see where we are now. You know, Colton Pillsbury is another six footer. Um, so let me ask you this: I, I know uh, you got to go here. It's going to be a short one here today. Um, we still have quite a few ways to go. Um, what are some of the things that you personally? can do better, uh, first question. And second part of that question, um, as a team, what else can can we improve on in order to make a, a strong run towards, uh, towards the end here? Yes, this is great. We I do have a very tall lineup, very physically mm-hmm. impressive. Um, also to mention <laughs> like TJ and Ricardo yeah. jump out of the gym. Ricardo's touching 11 to 11 three. Uh-huh. Um, and that was done months ago. <laughs> uh, to, uh, improve our game we still have a lot to do there's always wow. always a lot to do when striving for perfection sure and i definitely need to work on my defense right now mm-hmm. that is probably one of the weaker areas of my game um, even though i've been doing all right i think i can improve that i also as uh, being court captain most of the time i need to continue to strive to motivate and keep people focused on our goal mm-hmm. our goal of course is to uh, finish on top but that's far away so each game we're taking very serious as if it is the championship game that we're hoping to eventually be in Um, uh, as a team we're continuing to work on our serving being aggressive Mm -hmm. but a high percentage Mm -hmm. as well as keeping our serve receive in that 2.3 2.4 range which Mm -hmm. would be really great because we have such great offensive players so while while combining our are pretty great defense with some good blocking. If we can keep that serve receive and serve percentage high, we're going to see a lot of success. Well, Austin, I thank you for your time. Next up for the team is this Wednesday, March 15th, uh, at home against San Diego Miramar, followed by two days later, traveling up to Palomar to take on the Comets, and then uh, traveling again to Grossman. It's, 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 it's conference time. Um, it's going to be an exciting, exciting next, uh, what, month, month and a half maybe here. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to play conference. I think we're excited to play some of the teams. We have a few players on our teams that previously have played on past conference teams. So we're excited to see their friends and compete at the highest level. Awesome. Well, awesome. Thank you for your time. Uh, I appreciate it. We'll, uh, we'll, we can't wait to see what happens uh, this Wednesday. And uh, please keep in touch. And uh, you know what? Maybe we can do this again next week and hopefully uh, come out of those uh, two games with two big wins. That'd be great. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a good day.